building your infrastructure or hosting your application in the cloud can be tricky. One misconfiguration and your costs could quietly creep up or even skyrocket. Your performance could slow to a crawl, or you could have holes in your security big enough to cause some serious trouble. It can be difficult to stay on top of things, but you don't have to do it alone. Today, I'm going to tell you about Active Assist, the intelligence baked into Google Cloud that helps you troubleshoot, configure, and optimize your infrastructure with ease. So, what is Active Assist? Well, it's not just one thing. It's a portfolio of tools and services that span across Google Cloud. Active Assist combines data, intelligence, and machine learning to provide you with an array of tools specifically tuned to your usage. These tools are designed to reduce the complexity of managing infrastructure in the cloud. The Active Assist portfolio includes the recommendation hub and an API, as well as a collection of recommenders. Let's break down what recommenders are and how they work. Recommenders offer personalized, intelligent insights and recommendations for various Google Cloud resources and services based on your usage data. These recommendations expose opportunities to fine tune and optimize your configuration in various areas. For example, if you run virtual machines on Compute Engine, you can reduce costs by shutting down or deleting any virtual machines that aren't actively being used. The idle VM recommender will let you know when a virtual machine is idle or unused. Recommendations are made on based on cloud monitoring data and are continuously being updated. Another example is enforcing the best practice of least privilege. This includes making sure that users only have the permissions that they actually need and use. The IAM recommender will spot any excess permissions granted to any accounts and offer alternative roles and permissions to grant instead. To view or manage recommendations, users will require the appropriate IAM roles corresponding to the type of recommender that they need access to. These permissions are also bundled in some roles, like the owner role. That way, you can delegate the visibility and management of recommendations to different users or teams. Once you have access to recommendations, there's a number of ways that you can view and manage them. First, you might see them in context on the pages for the services that they correspond to. For example, you'll see IAM policy recommendations at the top of the IAM and admin page and next to any accounts that might have excess permissions. In the same way, the Compute Engine VM instances page will tell you when there are machine type recommendations at the top of the page and next to any machines that the recommendations apply to. This visibility ensures that administrators for these services don't miss any of the latest recommendations that could positively impact the organization. Recommenders can also be accessed from the Cloud Console via the Recommendation Hub, where you can view, dismiss, or apply recommendations with just a few clicks. In the Recommendation Hub, each recommender will display with a card with its description and a summary of the recommendations that it's generated, along with the impact of actually applying those changes. You can click View All for any recommender to see more details about the individual recommendation. Recommendations can also be accessed from the gcloud command line interface for more advanced and programmatic management. Accessing recommendations through the CLI reveals additional information and properties, such as priority and primary impact category. These properties are helpful in identifying recommendations that could have the biggest effect on costs, performance, and security. By familiarizing yourself with some of the features of Active Assist, you can reduce the complexity of running in the cloud. A great place to start is getting to know all the different recommenders that Active Assist has to offer. Collectively, recommenders will equip you to do six things successfully. Manage your costs wisely, maximize the performance of your systems, mitigate your security risks proactively, deliver high availability and reliable services to your end users, spend less time managing your cloud configuration, and reducing the carbon footprint of your workloads. In the next few videos, we're going to focus primarily on three areas costs, performance, and security. Then, we'll take a look at how we can manage recommendations across multiple projects inside of a single organization. Stay tuned for the next video, where we start by taking a look at what recommenders can do for cost optimization. See you there.